what is up guys this is Tito back with another video with a this talking head kind of style because a lot of people have been confused in the past days about the flashing on the redmi k20 pro recently has been removing your recoveries like if you have an orange fox recovery installed that will just get removed if you flash the evolution x rom and how that happened is actually not the rom's fault this is actually because of me wise firmware so i'm doing this complete video just i'm gonna talk about this so sit tight relax i'm gonna explain everything what happens to your device and why you have lost your recovery earlier while flashing the latest evolution x rom or maybe the ROS or stuff like that so let me explain in today's video earlier for the redmi k20 pro there used to be miui vendor based roms or there used to be oss vendor based roms and in the past days, those MIUI vendor based ROMs were actually based on the Android 10 MIUI firmware vendor. So earlier you used to flash the MIUI firmware vendor which is about 700 MB size and then you just flash the ROM and that used to be working fine if the ROM is based on the MIUI vendor, right? So yeah, that was pretty simplistic and once you are flashing OSS vendor based ROM, you do not need to flash any firmware, you just wipe cache dalvik system data and vendor as well and you just flash the ROM and it used to boot fine with fcrypt disabler or without it. The OSS vendor simply means the vendor itself is a custom vendor which is include the ROM file so it used to boot fine even without the MIUI vendor but right now with the latest update of the Android 11 firmware with the MIUI itself officially that made the issue so earlier there was no issue with the Android 10 firmware suddenly MIUI drops an update with Android 11 like 12.5.2 or something the update version that's when everybody faces the issue so what to do to actually fix the issue let me actually explain over here for flashing right now you do not need the firmware and the vendor as well so earlier you it used to be that 700 mb file which is like the firmware and vendor included in that firmware vendor file of course but right now you just need the firmware the android 11 firmware to flash the rom which is about 100 mb of file size i'll list everything in the description and that arrow is video i linked on that how to flash guide on that evolution x video that simply means that the same process will go with the Evolution x -ROM. So in that particular ROS video, what method I showed, totally usable for the Evolution x -ROM. And yes, I did flash the Evolution x -ROM, the 5.9.1 or 5.9.2 build the same way and I'm currently using it still and I still have the recovery intact. But let me tell you right now why you have lost your recovery. So you have most likely have flashed the Android 11 based MIUI ROMs or any kind of port of that. Android 11 based UROM used to bring the DRM certification L1 with that the 12.5 or 12.6 MIUI or if you have flashed the One OS which is a ported kind of MIUI or even the official MIUI update. If you have flashed it you, with your Orange Fox recovery, you still have the MIUI vendor in your device and that is causing the issue. If you still have the Android 11 firmware as well as with the vendor in your device, then if you flash a custom ROM, then if you boot into the recovery, you cannot see your recovery. Whenever you are booting into the recovery, it will boot into fast boot. Then even if you flash a custom recovery with the commands, it will not boot into your recovery. That is the issue. Like even after you flash a recovery with the fast boot commands, it will not show you or it will not boot into the recovery. For booting just once, you have to use the fast boot boot recovery kind of command and then only you can access your recovery. But then again, when you reboot to the system, then the recovery is gone again. That is the issue with the Android 11 vendor. So right now, what's the solution? Well, let me tell you, even if you have flashed the Android 11 based MIUI ROMs, you should not worry about it much, but just don't get right away to, into flashing the latest Evolution X ROMs or other custom ROMs. Just wait. So first, if you know that you have flashed the Android 11 based MIUI ROMs like the EU 12.6 MIUI and you have flashed it with Orange Fox recovery. Yes, you will still have the Orange Fox recovery when you flash the latest EU ROMs, but don't switch to a custom ROM yet. How to fix that particular thing? You need to go back to your Android 10 based MIUI ROM before proceeding to a custom ROM and this is how you do it. First things first, let's assume you have the EU ROM installed. I'm gonna make it simplified. Let's assume you have a EU ROM installed which is the MIUI 12.5 and that is based on Android 11. Now you still have the Orange Fox recovery. Do not switch to the Evolution X or any other custom ROM, the latest builds of custom ROM as of right now. Make sure you have downloaded the older kind of Android 10 ROMs. Now here, when I'm talking about ROM, that means I'm talking about the fast boot files. So make sure you have downloaded the 12.0.6 or the 12.0.4 ROMs, which is based on Android 10, the MIUI ROMs pretty much. So yeah, download them first. Then once you have downloaded those, 
make sure you boot into fast boot mode and just follow this video if you don't know how to fast boot flash your device so just go ahead and fast boot flash your stock rom with this particular method so once you have fast boot flashed and moved back into the 12.0.4 rom or 12.0.6 miui rom then you have android version 10 firmware so right then you boot into the fast boot mode again and just flash the latest orange fox recovery then you have to clean flash everything of course i know this process is a little bit of hassle but this is what you need to do to fix everything i am assuming that you have orange fox recovery right now booted and working totally fine if you have followed that complete flashing guide method and then right now you need to flash that 100 mb android 11 firmware which is that 12.5.1 or 12.5.2 firmware and just the firmware the 100 mb file then you flash the evolution x rom or any other rom which is based on the latest like custom kind of vendor and that's when you can boot into your system or if you're going decrypted then maybe flash the fcrypt disabler as well and magisk as well if you need that so that's how you reboot to system now what you do once you receive an update so once you are already on the android 11 firmware not the vendor the android 11 firmware based roms you can just directly reboot to your recovery after downloading the latest update and just dirty flash the latest update then you flash the fcrypt disabler as well and if you have earlier flashed magisk just flash the magisk as well then you can just reboot and that should be working totally fine that's how you won't lose your recovery after flashing the latest rom with this particular method if you are still not getting what i'm talking about or if you are still confused just watch that arrow is video what, what i made from the description box below on the how to flash link and all this happened because of the drm info l1 stuff and you still have the drm info as l1 right now and you still have the orange fox recovery installed that will stay with this particular method so i hope i could explain it to you guys and i hope you like this video if you have some friends who have lost their recovery please share them this video hopefully this video will help them too thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Rito from kdn signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now